In today's video, I am back with a lot of you all's favorite type of video, and that is a massive fragrance haul. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Hi, my name is Aisha from simplyaisha.com. Here on YouTube, I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So as I said, today's video, we will be doing a massive fragrance haul. I think I have about 25 fragrances to share with y'all, and I know that is a ton. That's a ton of fragrances. I really don't like to do hauls this big, but I have just been putting off these hauls. These things are things that I have gotten um, over the past probably about two months. And y'all, like, it's too much. <laughs> <laughs> it is too much. So this is probably my last haul until my birthday. That's the plan anyway. I do have some more items coming in that I just have not received yet. And then of course I'll get some PR. So you'll see new fragrances come and all, but I really want to get to know the fragrances I have. And I have been decluttering a lot because I need more space, honestly. So really I want to get to know what's currently in my collection. So with that being said, because we have so many fragrances, this is going to be probably the quickest long fragrance haul you've ever seen. <laughs> so basically what I plan on doing is just smelling the fragrances, letting you know a little bit about them. We're not going to spend a ton of time on each fragrance. So therefore, if there is any fragrance you want to know more about, leave it in the comment section below and I will try to include it in some other upcoming video or on my Instagram or something like that. Just let me know if you're interested in it down below. Um, as far as asking me like full out questions about these fragrances, like if you're going to ask me longevity and ask, basically asking for a full review in the comments, say that I'm not going to be able to give that to you in the comments because number one, it's a lot to give somebody a full rundown in a, a comment response, but also I have not worn most of these. Some of these I have and I'll let you know as we go, but like if in general you want to know more about a particular fragrance in my future videos, definitely leave that in the comments down below. Now let's go ahead and get into these fragrances. So these fragrances are in no particular order. I just laid them out all out on a table and we're just gonna go from there. So this first fragrance is one that was sent to me from the brand Soul and Vessel. And this is their Sultry Eau de Parfum. So this is an indie fragrance brand. I think they also have some body care products and all of that. And this is a black owned company. They reached out to me, asked if I wanted to try this product and I was excited to try it. So. I have not worn this one yet. I have smelled it, but I have not worn this. But I will tell you, they sent me the body butter as well. And I have tried the body butter and loved it. So I'm not sure why I haven't worn the fragrance yet. Maybe because I was had it kind of set aside for this haul. But this is a sweet, like a cotton candy scent. So this is for the Gourmand Girly. It's sweet and... Uh, it's, it smells like, um, it kind of reminds me of, low-key reminds me of Pink Sugar by Aqualina, but make it more elevated. That's what it reminds me of. So not quite as sweet as Pink Sugar, definitely smells higher quality, but it definitely gives those type of vibes. So if you like sweet fragrances, you like that candy type fragrance, I feel like this is actually a really good one. Now, I ha like I said, I haven't worn it, so I don't know about projection longevity or anything like that, but I know it smells absolutely delicious, and I feel like it will pair well with a lot of things, especially the body butter, because like I said, I have used the body butter before, but I just have not tried the actual fragrance, but it smells really, really good. So thank you to Soul & Vessel. Again, that is the fragrance Sultry. By the way, I think I have a discount code for that fragrance. I'm not quite sure, but for all the fragrances that I talk about, I will be listing these fragrances in my description box in alphabetical order. And if I have a promo code for them, I will definitely leave that down there for you as well. Most of those links will be affiliate links, which means that it helped that if you purchase through them, it gives me a little bit of a kickback, which allows me to continue to give you guys the content that you want to see. This next fragrance is one that got all the girlies talking. I feel like as soon as it came out, I feel like it's died down a little bit now, but I still find it to be a kind of hyped fragrance. So this is the newest one from Rosendo Mateau, and this is number eight. So this is one that they released for the summer. I believe it's a fruity fragrance. I, again, I have not worn this. This one I did purchase, but I have not worn it yet. I did smell it when I first got it in, but I can tell you that's been probably about two months ago. So let's go ahead and smell it again now. Okay, so this is a sweet fruity fragrance. 
Um, the fruits that are in here, it smells like a mix of fruits um, that are kind of tropical leaning. So I would say like a sweet tropical mix of fruits, but I also feel like I pick up something a little bit cooling, kind of like maybe like minty or eucalyptus or something like that. Something that's cooling that is combating those fruits. That's really interesting because at first, when I first smelled it, I thought it was kind of giving me Herbal Pure vibes. And in a way it does because, you know, Herbal Pure gives you that bowl of mixed fruits. Not saying that they smell exactly the same, but this definitely gives you that bowl of mixed fruits. But then there's something cooling in here that is probably gonna make it really, really nice for summer and kind of keep it from going too sweet or too cloying. It's really pretty. I'm really interested to see how this is gonna wear on my skin, but I'm very excited to have it. Let me know if you've tried this and what do you think about it, but so far, so good. First sniff, it smells amazing. So again, that's Rosendo Mato number eight. And then the other name that's on here is Fruity Amber Exotic Musk. This next fragrance is my first one from the brand Obvious, and this is called Un Pistache. So this one I heard about from a fellow YouTuber and it sounded interesting to me because it's another pistachio scent, but from what she described it as, I felt like it would be different. So I have worn this one and I can say that I thoroughly enjoyed wearing it. To me, this is a pistachio scent, but it's kind of like a pistachio almond mix and it's not extremely sweet. So you definitely get the nuttiness, you get a little bit of sweetness, but then this also has this kind of airy woodiness to it. like. If you smell anything like another 13 or any of those kind of woody molecular type scents, I feel like this is that version of a pistachio scent. Really easy to wear, uh, very kind of clean smelling without smelling like laundry detergent, but like a very easy going scent. I can say that this is going to be great for hot weather. The one time I wore it, I really enjoyed wearing it and I felt like it wore well on me even though it is on the lighter side. And I feel like it stands out in all this recent pistachio releases that have been coming out. So again, that is Un Pistache from Obvious. Now this next fragrance is one I have not opened yet, but this is from Quince Canto and this is called Gilare. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I did not look it up beforehand, so sorry if I'm not, but let me go ahead and open this and let's smell it. So this one comes in this beautiful kind of mauve pink bottle. I will say online, I thought it was more of a like baby pink, which I personally prefer, <laughs> but it's still a pretty bottle. These bottles do have velvet on them. So if that bothers you, just know that this is one of those velvet bottles, but let's see how it smells. So I can't remember the notes on this, but I remember them sounding very intriguing. And right now what I'm getting is a bit of like a greenness, a bit of woodiness, definitely some bright citrus, um, maybe like lemon or bergamot, that kind of citrus. And as this fragrance is continuing to dry down, I feel like I smell some sweeter notes coming out, but I wouldn't necessarily say this is a sweet fragrance, at least not right now. Um, to me, it smells like it could be maybe taco or vanilla coming out, but not in a super sweet gourmand way, more of a darker way. Definitely some spices deep in the background of this. This is going to be one where I feel like the verdict is going to be out because honestly, I'm not quite sure what I'm smelling. I feel like this is going to be one that I have to spray on my skin. I find that a lot of the fragrances from this line are kind of complex, so definitely first sniff is probably not the best way to do this, but since I have so many fragrances, that's the only reason I'm doing it like this. This is one that I honestly should have tried out before coming on this video. So definitely you will hear more about this because like I said, I don't feel like I'm giving you much, but what I'm getting right now is a, it kind of opened with a bright citrus mixed with some greenness, a little bit of a woody touch. And then as it continues to wear on this paper, I'm getting a little bit of sweetness come out, but not a ton of sweetness and a little bit of spice come out. Kind of hard for me to explain, but I can't wait to wear it. I like it. I'm just not sure if this is a love for me, but I have to spray this on the skin and really see about it. For some reason, it is reminding me of another fragrance that I have from this brand, which for some reason, I cannot think of that name right now. It escapes me. <laughs> I do have a cold. My nose is fine now, which is why I'm doing this video today. And I really wanted to do it yesterday, but I couldn't because my nose is just too stopped up. But I think because of that, my brain is just not working right. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I will put the name of the fragrance that's kind of reminding me of. I'm not saying they smell alike, but I feel like there's definitely some sort of similar DNA between those two. So again, that is Guilare from Quinta Canto. This next fragrance is one that I briefly spoke about in another video, but this one is called Sun Forest from The Harmonist. 
I'm sorry about that glare there, but this is a sunny type fragrance, but that's not the full story. So to me, when I smell this, I definitely get solar vibes. I get a brightness. I get like the feeling of sunshine, but this is also quite spicy and woody and definitely unisex. So being in this gold bottle, you may think it's very feminine. It is not. This is definitely one that could be worn by anybody, I believe. And although it's called Sun Force, it's not purely a summer scent in my opinion. It does have those sunny vibes, but I feel like this could be like summer nights or like fall during the day, spring during the day. I'm not sure that this is really the best choice for summer during the day. I have worn this one time, I think, and I enjoy the wear of it, but I still feel like I'm trying to get to know this. So if you have this fragrance, let us know what you think of it. I'm glad that I got it because I feel like it is a different addition to my collection. I'm just not sure like where it fits into my rotation as of yet. So again, this is Sun Force from The Harmonist. This next fragrance is from the brand Juice or J-U-S. And this one is called Super Fusion. So this one was sent to me by the brand. They allowed me to pick out what fragrance I wanted to try. And I picked this one and I absolutely love it. So I have worn this one maybe twice, once or twice. Um, but it is kind of like a milky... I don't know if milky is the right word. I don't know if there's actual milk in here, but to me what it comes off is is a milky kind of creamy but spicy scent. So it kind of gives me a milky gourmand, musky type vibe. <laughs> <laughs> but then you have these spices and I feel like I can definitely pick out cardamom in here but there's other spices in here as well that really kind of break it up so I wouldn't really call this a gourmand I really wouldn't call it a full-on musk it kind of sits in the middle of a lot of things it's gorgeous it's not a heavy super heavy scent um, but it's not super light either so I would say that if you like fragrances that are like milky musk type fragrances I feel like this is one you should get your nose on because it's definitely in that kind of category but then you throw in those random spices and it really mixes things up so really happy to have this again that is super fusion by juice this next fragrance is one that had been on my wish list for about a year and i finally picked it up this is from roja parfums and this is isola blue this bottle is gorgeous in person. I had seen it online and it always looks so pretty online, but this blue is stunning in real life. So anyway, this is a citrusy fragrance, but to me it's unique in the fact that it is a bright, like full on citrus, but then it has this woodiness. It, I feel like when you smell it, it smells strong. I have never full body worn this. I've had a sample of it, but I've never full body worn it from the bottle. So take all this with a grain of salt. But when I smell it, it smells like a big punch of citrus. Citrus. It's not a light airy citrus. It's like a big punch of citrus mixed with some woodiness, mixed with this marine type of vibe. I think this is going to be perfect for hot summer days. Oh my gosh, it smells so good to me. I don't find it to be sweet per se but there is a little touch of sweetness in it i also find there's a little touch of like saltiness or like sea air type saltiness to me uh, but not a ton this i cannot wait to wear on my body <laughs> I'm so excited to have this. This was not a blind buy. Like I said, I had sample before. I also smelled it in the store. And um, yeah, it's it's gorgeous. I also think this would work perfectly well on a man just based on how it smells. Um, I think this one's going to be perfectly unisex. So again, that is Isola Blue from Roja Parfums. This next fragrance is another one that is hyped up and I haven't opened it, y'all. So y'all gonna get my first impressions. This is from Juice Box and it is Carioca Heart. Now, when I first heard about this fragrance, I was interested, but I have to be honest, I had smelled some samples of Juice Box before and nothing really spoke to me that I had to have it. So I have to say, like when I saw the notes on this fragrance, when it was first released, I was interested, but I wasn't like super interested. And then everybody started talking about it. I'm like, maybe it is good, maybe it is good. And then of course it sold out. So recently Harrods did their 10% off for their rewards members. Their um, reward program is free. I'm a member of it. And every now and again, they do these 10% off codes. So as soon as they did that, I went to look to see if they had this fragrance. And not only did they have it, they had it on sale, like an additional, like it was already on sale for like, I think like 170 or something like that. And then you get the 10% off on top of that. So make sure you follow me on Instagram because I told y'all about that sale over there. And um, yeah, that's where you find all the goodies. 
<laughs> now, after I ordered this, I couldn't immediately tell y'all about the deal on Instagram, so I'm sorry for that. I couldn't immediately tell y'all because I was in the midst of doing something, but when I went back like a couple hours later to look, it was sold out, so sorry. Anyway, let's open it and see. All right, so here is what the bottle looks like. I can say it is quite substantial. I've seen these bottles in person before, but I've never actually held one, but it is quite heavy and kind of big. Um, you have a lot of glass here. Like this is all glass, so I kind of feel like they could have cut all that off and made us a better better bottle. I mean, I like the bottle, but I just feel like, you know, when you have a lot of a, a large collection, I don't really need all these big bottles. Oh, my cap is broken. Look at that. Look at that. Y'all, come on now. Ugh. Okay. So the inside piece came out the first time, so that's not good. The glue is not that great on here. But here we are with the atomizer. So let's hope this fragrance is good because right now it ain't looking too good, y'all. Okay, it smells really good, <laughs> thankfully. So I believe there's a, this is a mango note that I'm smelling at the top here. I believe mango is the star of this show, but I think there's other fruits in here as well. And to me, I feel like I smell mango, but I definitely smell some other type of tropical fruit too. Um, I'm not great at picking out different tropical fruits and being able to tell them apart. It's just not the life I live. <laughs> like I don't eat a bunch of fruits. I definitely don't eat a bunch of tropical fruits. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel like I pick up mango and if I had to guess another fruit that's in the background, I'm feeling like I'm kind of getting a guava juice type of vibe. So like a mango guava mix is what I'm picking up. As this is starting to dry, I'm definitely getting something a bit darker, maybe slightly boozy, maybe like a dark rum or or maybe even like a white rum because I feel like dark rum smells like a lot spicier, boozier, whereas white rum is more of just like that alcoholic type smell. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but dark rum has a more rich, sweeter smell in my opinion. Anyway, I'm getting some booziness, like a little bit of like sweetness, but not a ton mixed with the fruitiness. In the interest of time, I'm gonna stop smelling this. I know this is gonna change more and I'm kind of regretting doing this video, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of regretting because I feel like these are not valid opinions and that's why I don't always like doing first impressions of stuff, but I really needed to put this stuff away, okay? <laughs> so y'all will hear more about it. Um, but so far I'm really enjoying the way this smells. It's giving me a sweet, fruity, kind of boozy scent. Is it giving me all that I expected from the way people are raving about it? As of right now, no, but I haven't worn this on my skin. So don't quote me on that. I definitely feel like this could be one that I love because as of right now, it does smell like really, really good. Gonna be great for summer. So I cannot wait to actually full body wear this. I'm happy that this so far I am liking. Um, because I never know when stuff is hyped up, you know, you never know if it's going to work for you. And I'm not saying that the people that are talking about it are wrong. We just all have such different tastes, you know? So anyway, that was Karaoke Heart from Juicebox Perfumes. This next fragrance was sent to me from the brand Okcha, and this is their collaboration with Paul Reacts. He is an influencer on TikTok and Instagram, and this is called That Girl Viral Vanilla. So this is supposed to be like a dupe fragrance, and according to the information they sent, it's inspired by Vanille 44 from Lalabo, Bianco Latte from Giardini di Toscana, and Vanilla Sex by Tom Ford. And I have to say, it's definitely giving me Bianco Latte vibes. Um, that is the smell that I'm getting the most. So I'm getting like a creamy, sweet, milky kind of vanilla. Has a little bit of musk in it, which I can attribute to like that vanilla sex inspiration. Vanille 44 from the Labo, I haven't smelled enough to really speak on that. Like I've smelled it before, but I haven't smelled it enough to really speak on it. But I definitely could see it being like inspired by uh, vanilla sex and... Um, Bianco Latte. It's also kind of giving a bit of a almondy touch to it. This smells really good. It's quite pleasant. This is not my first time smelling this. I will say that I'm kind of in this era where I'm not really checking for super gourmand vanillas at this point. And I think part of that is because it's so hot. I just, I, this smells really good. It smells scrumptious, delicious. I know this is going to be a hit for a lot of you all and it smells good to me. Like I would Recommend it if you're looking for a gourmand vanilla. It's just not something I want to wear right now. Like I'm not in the mood to wear something this thick and gourmand 
uh, of a vanilla right now for me, but it is a gorgeous scent. So yeah, I think they did a great job with this. It smells high quality, it's not expensive, and like shout out to Paul Reacts for this co collaboration. Um, and I think you should check it out if you're interested in this type of vanilla right now. So again, that is That Girl Viral Vanilla by Okcha and Paul Reacts. Next up, I have three fragrances from the brand Olfactive Studio. Uh, thank you for sending these out to me, Olfactive Studio. I have talked about one of these already, um, so we'll do that one first. Um, this one is Lumiere Blanche from Olfactive Studio. And I talked about this in uh, my like non-gourmand video. I don't remember the name of it, but I'll link it for you all. Anyway, this is like a milky musky scent that really doesn't go that gourmand route it kind of stays more musky it has um this woody element to it that kind of reminds me of like an aroma chemical type wood so it has that woody like that airy woodiness to it along with a sweet kind of milky musky smell it's gorgeous great for everyday wear great for like that clean girl type of aesthetic um but interesting as well so if you like something like blanche bit from liquids imaginaire but you don't want something that gourmand or that sweet maybe check this one out i feel like this will be a good alternative to that if you're not into like super gourmands but you kind of want to get on that milky type train so again that is lumiere blanche from Olfactive Studio. This next fragrance is called Close Up. And this is one that I was very excited to try from them. This is one that I said I was interested in. But I have to say, I have not worn this on my body. I've had this one for probably about two months. I got all these at the same time. I haven't worn it on my body because when I smell it, there's something that gives me a very animalic smell. So this is supposed to be like a boozy, I think it has cherry in it. Um, a woody, maybe tobacco, like right up my alley, right? All those things sound like things I love, but there's something in here that gives me body odor vibes and I cannot bring myself to try this on the skin. So um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this fragrance. I feel like I'm scared to spray it on. Like, well, I sprayed it on my hand the first day I got it, but I felt like I could immediately pick up some sort of body odor vibe from it. And I let my husband smell it and he said it smelled weird as well. I mean, he didn't say it smelled like body odor, but to me, that's what I was smelling. So I don't foresee myself wearing this. I mean, I'm glad I got a chance to smell it, but um, I, I honestly don't think that this is something I'll be holding on to. Like, I kind of want to hold on to it for reference, but like even now when I'm smelling it, I, I don't want to smell it. So if you want this bottle and you live in the United States, <laughs> DM me on Instagram. I'm sorry, I know y'all don't like that. I know you don't like to DM me on Instagram. I know you don't like when I send you to other platforms, but it's so hard to give away stuff on YouTube. So if you want this, DM me on Instagram and um, I'll ship it out to you. So again, that is Close Up by Olfactive Studio. This next fragrance is the last one from Olfactive Studio and this is Still Life in Rio. So this one is a bright citrusy summery type scent. To me, when I smell this, I feel like I get a lot of lime and it reminds me of a tropical drink, like a lime based tropical drink. I also get somewhat of a beachy vibe from this and to me, it kind of reminds me of being on the beach and just drinking a lime uh, based tropical drink. That's what it smells like to me. It's simple, but it's actually really beautiful. And it kind of, it doesn't go like extremely sweet. It kind of has more of this clean type vibe to it that to me says that it will wear well on a man as well because it doesn't go that sweet fruity drink type route. It kind of has this clean airiness to it. It's a really beautiful scent. I've only worn it one time, but I re did really enjoy wearing it. So again, that is Still Life in Rio by Olfactive Studio. All right, so hopefully my lighting and everything is the same. I had to take a little break to give my kids lunch. First of all, before we get into these fragrances, moms, if your kids are on a summer break right now, oh my gosh, like how are y'all doing? <laughs> it's hard, it's hard. I saw something the other day that said um, that like when we were growing up, parents had it different because they weren't responsible for entertaining their kids 100% of the time because a lot of times you could send your kids out into the neighborhood and there would be like a gang of kids to play with. And that's how I grew up. Like I was always outside with my friends or at each other's house and it was a small neighborhood and so we all knew each other. And um, yeah, that's not like that these days. Anyway, I had to go give them some lunch and I needed to take a little break because I started coughing. So we are back and I'm ready to smell some more fragrances, okay? <laughs> 
The next fragrance is from Bomb Perfumer. This one was sent to me. And this is a brand that I've wanted to try for a while. I just have never ordered from them. So uh, the one they sent me is number 304. And on it, it says it has the notes of cumin, flor diamandier, and cedar. I have smelled this one. I have not worn it. I've just like sprayed it on my hand. So I have an idea of what it smells like. Uh, but what I get from this is a spicy scent. So I don't know that I particularly, well, yeah, now I do. I can say I pick up cumin. <laughs> If you've ever cooked with cumin, it has a very particular scent. But as this fragrance dries, I definitely pick up other spices. I pick up a little bit of a sweet floral tone. I think that's from the almond blossom. I think that's what Fleur de Mondier is. If it's not, that's what it smells like to me, like almond blossom or some sort of almondy floral, like maybe heliotrope gives it a slight bit of powderiness. It, it's a warm fragrance. Um, it's beautiful. It definitely feels like it could be perfectly unisex, but honestly, it's not the type of fragrance that I would typically reach for in this type of weather. This definitely smells more fall winter appropriate. I'm not sure if this is a new fragrance for them, but this is the one they asked me if they could send it over to me. They suggested it probably based on my profile of what I like. <laughs> and I definitely feel like it falls in my wheelhouse. It definitely smells like something I will wear. I'm just not sure I want to wear it right now. Um, to me, it's just giving more fall winter vibes and it's so hot right now that I'm really not reaching too much for these types of scents, but it is a very pretty scent and I'm excited to have it. So again, that is number 304 from Bond Perfumer. This next fragrance, I actually did a first impressions on my Instagram and I got so many comments on that video, so many mixed responses, but this is a very hyped fragrance. And this is from Bulgari. This is called Bacciami. So the bottle is gorgeous, y'all. It's gorgeous. It reminds me of like a candy wrapper, um, like an old school hard candy wrapper. Um, I love the bottle. And it seems that a lot of people really love this scent. Now, after doing my first impressions on this, I have had a chance to wear this one. So I have a little bit more information on it. But basically, this is a gardenia and vanilla scent and to me gardenia has a very distinct smell um it smells beautiful in the earth <laughs> like in my garden i don't have a garden per se but we do have a gardenia bush and i love the way it smells outside i don't typically gravitate towards it for my fragrances for my body but i do like the smell of it but to me this is definitely giving a fresh like authentic gardenia and vanilla I was expecting, like I knew gardenia was one of the main notes in here, but the way it's been described, the way I've heard people talk about it, I was honestly expecting more vanilla <clears throat> and something very like different, something very unique. When I smell this, it's pretty. It's just not doing all that I thought it was gonna do based on like how many people love it. And I'm talking about a wide range of people from people that are like my age to like, 20 somethings from the TikTok people to the Instagram people to the luxury people like a lot of people love this fragrance and for me it's just a little underwhelming at first take it's not bad and like I said I have worn this I wore it to church the other day I thought I smelled good I just didn't think it was something that like if I would smell this in store I probably wouldn't have purchased it and that is the problem with blind buying now at least I did purchase this on Harrods with my 10% discount at the same time as I purchased karaoke karaoke heart so I did get a, a bit on sale but I am going to try this out more because like I said I don't hate it it just got here a lot of times with vanilla scents they need a little bit time to kind of fully develop and some of you all actually told me that at first sniff or the first couple times you wore it you couldn't get into it and then all of a sudden it became like the bee's knees to you so I'm hoping that happens to me because I really want to love this scent <laughs> and it's a pretty scent it, it really is a pretty scent I just don't know that it's me. And um, yeah, that's Bacciami from Bulgari. Next fragrance is from Roja Parfums and this is one of their new fragrances, it's Elysium. And this is the Pore Femme version. This bottle, y'all, it is absolutely stunning. Like there is something about this bottle, like the way they did the iridescence on this, it, it looks so top notch, y'all. In person, it's just absolutely stunning. I'm going to have to find a place to put this in my collection where I can see it a lot because it is like one of the most beautiful bottles in my collection. I mean, Roja kind of never fails on their bottles. Um, but yeah, this one is absolutely stunning. So this was sent to me from the brand. They didn't tell me what they were sending. And honestly, if they would have told me, I probably might have passed on that. <laughs> 
<laughs> not because of how it smells, but just based on the notes, it didn't really seem like something that was my wheelhouse. I really would have preferred to try Isola Soul, which they just came out with, which side note, I've smelled and really enjoy. <laughs> but they sent me this one, but I'm, I'm happy about it because it's pushing me outside of my comfort zone. So based on the notes, I wouldn't have chose this fragrance, but now that I have it in my hand and I have smelled this one, I haven't worn it yet, but I have smelled this before. I actually really like it. It's a very pretty girl scent. So to me, it opens up with a bit of a fruitiness and I feel like it's peach um, or like nectarine or something. So it's giving me a bright kind of fruity nature to it. And then there's a bunch of florals. I couldn't even tell you what type of florals, but I'm thinking like white florals because I feel like I can pick out something like jasmine, maybe tuberose. And then in the base, I feel like there's definitely a tiny bit of greenness, but not too much, but enough to make it feel like fresh. So if I were to classify this fragrance, it would be definitely a floral with some fruity nuances. Now, haven't worn this. It is a pretty girl scent and I do plan on wearing it. I think it's going to be great for summertime. It's just not the type of fragrance that I typically go for, but I do think this will be well loved. I think that this will appeal to a lot of people. I feel like this is going to be an easy wear. And like so many fragrances from Roja, I feel like all of their fragrances kind of smell elegant, refined, and this fits right into that kind of category. So honestly, this would make a great gift. Honestly, if you were looking for a gift for a woman and you don't know what kind, what fragrance, like if she's not really into fragrances per se, um, this would make a great gift because I feel like it's one of those fragrances that most women would smell and love unless they're like a real... <laughs> fragrance uh, lover like me, like where I'm into all these deeper, spicier scents. But for the average woman, I feel like this would be a beautiful gift. So again, that is Elysium from Roja. This next fragrance is one that has been on my wish list forever, but it's one that like it's been on my wish list, but I wasn't really trying to knock it off. It was just kind of hanging out there. And recently I came across a deal on this and this is not a summer fragrance. But for the price that I saw it for, I was like, girl, you better get it and hold on to it till the fall winter. So <laughs> this is Sultan from Royal Crown. This is my first one from Royal Crown. I have not smelled this fragrance yet, but I got the smaller size. I think the 50 ml size. So it's in this little bottle. I think it's actually really cute though. The crown looks so much better in person than it does on videos. I had never seen these in person, but I was really happy with the bottle. And it's also hard to tell on video, but the bottle is almost, it's like a dark green, um, not really black. And it's not completely opaque. There is a bit of a transparency to the bottle, but bottle top notch, feels great. The, the crown is beautiful, but I got this 50 ml bottle for like, I want to say like 105 or something like that. Something unheard of. Cause if you've heard of Royal Crown, you know, they are upwards of, I think like $500. So yeah, I couldn't pass up the deal. I did share it with y'all after I checked out. <laughs> So I checked out and then I waited like five minutes and then I shared it because there's been times I've checked out and then immediately shared it and then somehow, some way, my bottle didn't get shipped. So yeah, I got my bottle though. It came quite quickly and I can already tell you, I love the smell of this. I haven't even put it to my nose yet, but I can smell it over here in this area and I love the smell of it. Oh gosh, y'all. This... See, the reason that this was kind of moved down my wish list is because I always thought, based on the notes, that it would be similar to Absolute Aphrodisiac from Initio, which I absolutely love. It's one of my favorite fragrances. And now that I'm smelling this in person, it absolutely is similar. Not the same, but similar. So it's giving me that vanilla, like musky vanilla. And when I say musk, I mean more of like a skin scent musk, not a clean musk. Um, and then there is this fizziness to it that for me kind of comes off a bit almondy, a bit like a uh, Dr. Pepper-ish vibe, but it doesn't go that Play-Doh route. So some Dr. Pepper type scents or root beer type scents can also kind of smell like Play-Doh. This doesn't smell like that to me. This smells very high quality and just a little bit of that fizzy Dr. Pepper mixed with a lot of vanilla and musk. It's gorgeous, y'all. Oh, I am so happy to have this. Maybe in the fall, winter, like once, you know, things calm down for these summer fragrances, I'm going to have to compare this with Absolute Aphrodisiac for y'all because I do feel like they're similar. I'm not sure if you need both. Like I haven't worn this just my first time smelling it, but this smells amazing. 
Yeah, so again, that is Sultan from Royal Crown. This next fragrance is a new release, a brand new release. I think in real time, like when I'm filming this, this was just released like earlier this week, but this was sent to me from the brand EPC or Experimental Perfume Club, and this is called Pistachio Haiku. So now what, so when I saw promo images for this coming out, I knew I wanted to try it because I love a good pistachio scent. And I think this combines um, pistachio with Tonka Sesame, which is currently my favorite fragrance from them. I do have that fragrance. I do love it. Um, so I knew I wanted to smell this and they sent it to me. So I'm super excited to have this. I smelled it already. I have not worn it, but yeah, I'm getting pistachio plus Tonka Sesame. So I'm definitely getting like a toasted rice note from that sesame along with some sweetness, some nuttiness from the Tonka. And then you add in a little bit of sweet pistachio, more like a pistachio ice cream, but not that sweet, but definitely there's a little bit of sweetness along with the nuttiness to this fragrance. Um, overall, I think this is a kind of dark scent. I'm interested to see how this is going to wear for the summertime because obviously it's released at this time of year. I would expect them to have it in mind for the summer. But when I initially smell this, if I had to place it in a category myself, I would say fall winter because it's deep. It's sweet. Uh, it's not extremely sweet. Like it doesn't go juvenile, but it's definitely a good amount of sweetness to this fragrance. But I'm going to wear it to see how it wears on me in this heat. And I'll have to report back, but as of right now, I do love the way it smells. I definitely love the way it smells. It smells unique. It's not like any other pistachio fragrance that I have in my collection. And I love that for me. <laughs> I love when fragrance brands can come out with something that is new. Um, now I will say just at first sniff, don't take this as you know the end all be all, but at first sniff, I would say that if you're interested in this fragrance and you already have Tonka Sesame, you probably don't need this one because I feel like if you use Tonka Sesame from them and then apply a, another pistachio fragrance, like even if you have Demeter Pistachio, that's a sweet pistachio, or if you have Yum Pistachio Gelato with Tonka Sesame, I feel like you would get something similar. So maybe try that first if you have those two fragrances in your collection already if not i definitely think this is one worth getting your nose on but probably not a safe blind buy because the sesame note in this fragrance is quite strong and i feel like that's not going to work for everybody so again that's pistachio haiku from epc this next fragrance is from Virtus paris and this is narcosis now i have to say i just sprayed this on my test strip and it got in my mouth and i hate that for me oh I hate when that happens. This fragrance is quite potent. So I ordered this because I've been interested in trying more fragrances from this brand. I have like a few that I wanna try. And this one kind of sounded like one that I would like for the summer. So I ordered it. And I have to say, I've smelled this already. I've never worn it, but I have smelled it already and I'm smelling it again now. And it's not really what I expected. I feel like I could smell weed. <laughs> cannabis when I spray this and that's not really the type of scent I was looking for um yeah I will say in the previous times where I've smelled this I haven't put it on skin but previous times when I smelled this I got that strong kind of cannabis note at the beginning but as the fragrance dries down you do get these fruits that start to come out along with the musky base now if I'm going to be able to wear this or not time shall tell I will try it and see how I like it but I would just say at first sniff, it's not what I expected. And if I would have smelled this in store, I definitely would not have gotten it because the first spray is quite strong of the cannabis smell. Yeah, even right now that I'm smelling it, I can start to smell some of the fruits coming out and maybe like almost like a caramel or something is coming out. So it's a very interesting scent and that's why I will try it on my body. <laughs> But I don't want to be walking around smelling like weed. So yeah, this was kind of a fail for me. But we shall see. I'm going to test it out. It might turn into a love. So again, that is Narcosis from Virtus Paris. This next fragrance was 100% influenced by Nika Marks here on YouTube. She's also on Instagram and TikTok. But I've heard her talk about this fragrance so many times and... When Harris was having their sale, I got it, okay? Because it's been on my wish list and I just really wanted to try it. So this is from Cartier and this is Oud and Santal. So this is part of their higher end line. I'm not sure what they call it, but it's um, it comes in this like red box, like a Cartier jewelry box. They do sell these in the boutiques. I meant to smell it when I went into a Cartier boutique um, about six months ago, but I completely forgot about it. Um, but yeah, it's a very like prestigious line 
And the name is Oud de Santal, and that's definitely what I get. So I'm definitely getting sandalwood, but it's very creamy, like a rich smelling sandalwood. The Oud in here is present. Uh, it kind of gives it a tiny bit of a Middle Eastern vibe, but it's not like fecal smelling or barnyard smelling or anything like that. It's very smooth, easy going, mixed with this beautiful sandalwood. Now, the combination that I get is not an easy going combination, but it is a tame, refined, but strong smelling scent. Hopefully that makes sense. Like it's not an easy going scent, but it's not hard to understand either. It's just very well done and it's beautiful. I haven't worn this yet, but I feel like this is gonna work for nights out or for the winter. But I'm definitely going to try it during the summer for nights out because I just, I can't wait until the fall winter to try this, y'all. <laughs> <coughs> and I honestly think it's gonna work well at nighttime for year round use. So if you've tried this, let me know what do you think of it. Um, I kind of feel like this is one of those fragrances that is kind of simple, but smells really, really well executed. So again, that's Cartier, Oud, and Santal. This next fragrance is something that has been on my wish list for years, like literal years. I remember when I got Amouage Overture Woman, I was able to smell this product that I'm gonna share with y'all. And I, I couldn't swing it for retail. <laughs> I couldn't do it, but I've loved it since then. So um, recently my friend told me about, she saw it on a deal and so I swooped it up. <laughs> so this is Vanilla Barca from Amouage. Now this is an atar, meaning a pure perfume oil, very high quality, uh, comes in this tiny bottle and you just dab it. Like you're supposed to just put a dab. I'm not even gonna open it today because I can't be wasting this precious juice. Cause even on sale, uh, even at a discounted price, it was still quite expensive. But I have tested this on my body multiple times, like from the store and at home i've tested it since i got this bottle and i absolutely love it to me this is a vanilla that's done right like it's a very uh rich smelling vanilla it kind of has a bit of a gourmand edge to it but it also has spiciness it's just a very balanced van vanilla and then it kind of has a bit of a skin type of must to it as well now i will say like i've never worn this full body yet but generally with these types of products i don't expect to get a ton of projection but i do expect it to be extremely long lasting and when i've tried it on myself in the store it's it's shown me that it's extremely long lasting but i've never had a chance to like really apply it um for myself but i'm very excited to have this i think this is going to be a year-round appropriate vanilla uh, but honestly i'll probably put it aside until fall winter so again that's vanilla barca from amouage okay again with the lighting same reason i had to take another break guys i'm sorry this video is so long I will not be doing a long haul like this again, <laughs> not this long. Anyway, we're going to speed through these next few. So next up is, I have two from Maison Francis Kirkjohn, and I've actually already worn both of these, but this first one is Aqua Vitae Forte. So this fragrance is a clean, like citrusy scent. When I smell this, I feel like I can smell like mandarin oranges or tangerine or something like that. Um, it's very bright, it's very uplifting. It has a woody base, but not extremely woody, but it has something there to kind of hold the fragrance on you. It's not just citrus, but overwhelmingly it's a clean, like citrusy fragrance with the main citrus to me being something from the orange family. So either orange or tangerine or clementine, something like that. It smells so good, y'all. This is so refreshing. Y'all know I've been going through this <laughs> phase where I'm not really into gourmands all the time. Like sometimes I want to smell like snacks, sometimes I don't. So on those days when I don't want to smell like a snack, I've been indulging in some of my clean smelling scents and my citrus scents, which I feel like are perfect for this hot weather that we're having. And this is one that I decided to pick up because it's just one I wanted to try. So I actually ordered this directly from the Maison Francis Kirkjohn website. So I was able to get two samples. And the two samples that I got, I don't have them with me, but this is the Aqua Vitae Forte. I think I ordered the Aqua Vitae Cologne Forte and then just the regular Aqua Vitae just to compare them. But I haven't had a chance to smell those yet, but I can say for this one, I'm really enjoying it so far. So again, that's Aqua Vitae Forte from Maison Francis Kirkjohn. The next fragrance is 724 from Maison Francis Kirkjohn. 
And I don't know if you guys know it, but the name of this fragrance is a play on 24-7. So, um, meaning that I think this fragrance is meant to be worn anytime, all year long, all... I think it's supposed to be based on the city that never sleeps, which I believe is New York. And if you see the back, you can see there's a picture of a city there. Um, so yeah, that's what the name is based on. Hopefully I remember that correctly, but this is a gorgeous scent. To me, this is definitely a laundry detergent type of scent. So when I smell this, I get a bright citrus. And again, it seems like it kind of leans in that orange direction, but then it's mixed with this like laundry accord. Um, so it smells clean, but it doesn't smell like you just washed your clothes per se. It's definitely more elegant than that. Um, and there's something addictive about this fragrance. There's a little bit of sweetness in it too, but to me, it kind of smells like more of a floral sweetness. So I'm not sure if it's um, like a purple flower or something like that, but it, to me, it kind of smells like a powdery, like purple floral sweetness in addition to the sweet leaning citrus and the like clean laundry type of a core. It is gorgeous though. There's something that just oh, smells so good to me. <laughs> this smells so good. I would love like a house scent of this. <laughs> I love it on my body too though, but like a house scent, like oh, this, I could imagine a luxury hotel smelling like this when you walk in. So Love this. Again, that's 724 from Maison Francis Kirk John. Next up, I have one representative of a group of fragrances that were sent to me. So Sniff, I recently became an affiliate with them and they sent me, I think about seven fragrances. I decided to not include them in this video because it's just too much. Like I just had too many things. And I think I will do like a dedicated um, either Instagram reel or YouTube short to all the fragrances they sent me. <clears throat> But the one that I have here is Heal The Way. This is the only one I've worn. I actually wore this last night in real time. Um, this is their collaboration with Alex L. She is an influencer, motivational speaker, author. Um, I found out about her initially from long, long, long time ago. She used to do natural hair content here on YouTube. And that's how I know who she is. But um, yeah, this is a pistachio and vanilla scent. And this was the one that was like at the top of my wish list from Sniff. And one time I actually tried to purchase it. It was on back order or pre-order and I didn't want to do that. So I didn't get it, but they ended up sending it to me. So I'm thankful for that because I really wanted this fragrance and it smells amazing, y'all. I wore it last night for the first time. So I can't give you a full review, but I can tell you pistachio and vanilla it was nutty. It was sweet. It was warm. It was cozy. Um, definitely more of a calming scent. So again, that sniff healed away. And like I said, I have quite a few more other fragrances from this brand that I will share with y'all in some format, some way. <laughs> this next fragrance is from Profumo di Firenze and this is Matilda. So this fragrance I feel like it's kind of been popping off on TikTok and Instagram lately. I heard about it on YouTube initially. It was somebody I was watching they mentioned it. This was probably like a month or so ago and that was my first time hearing of it and I, I don't remember who the YouTuber was unfortunately and I don't feel like it was anybody super popular but they mentioned it. It sounded like something I wanted to try put it on my wish list or my like list of things I want to smell, try or whatever. And then like right after that, like probably a week after that, I started hearing all these people talking about it. So um, yeah, it's a bit hyped now, but y'all, I was able to get this bottle, this tester bottle for a whopping $25, okay? <laughs> $25. I did share it after I purchased my bottle. I did share it with you all on Instagram. Um, but yeah, I got this for $25 and I could never be mad at that because I knew I couldn't go wrong at $25. I, I knew I wanted to try this, but when I looked at the notes, I felt like it was going to be too similar to some other fragrances I had. But when I saw it for $25, I was like, girl, if it's similar, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> so this opens up in a sweet kind of candy like fashion, but like a candied floral type of fashion so i personally have never had candied violets but i would imagine this is what they smell like because this definitely smells like a candied purple flower so it's sweet it's a little bit floral but it's not too heavy it's kind of airy if you guys have smelled insolence or insolence by guerlain i haven't worn that in a long time but that is a fragrance that to me is like violet and powdery and sweet this one is like the lighter more modern take on that in my opinion because this has more of a sparkling nature to it it's not that powdery um, it does kind of have that same type of smell but i feel like this is the younger cousin of insolence by guerlain <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, I love this fragrance. I ha at first sniff anyway. I've sn this is not my first time smelling it. I actually smelled it when I first got it as well. But I've never worn this on my body, so I don't know anything much about it beyond what I'm telling you. But first sniff, I love the way it smells. I'm happy that I gave it a try. So, so again, that is Matilda by Profumo de Friends. And then this last fragrance is another hyped fragrance. And it's one that, again, has been on my wish list now for a couple months. But at the time when I heard about this fragrance, I was kind of out of the mode of buying winter fragrances. And this seemed like it would be more of a winter fragrance. But I caved and got it, y'all, because I don't know. I'm influenced, I guess. And I saw it on sale. Like, I was perusing the internet. Saw that Macy's was having a sale. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get it and cure that curiosity. I've been in Macy's since this has been out, but they don't have it in store. I don't know if they have it in a store near you, but in my store, they don't have this in store. So I blind purchased this, but I was able to get it on sale. So this is from Donna Karen. Yes, she's back, y'all. And this is Cashmere and Palo Santo. I think out of this collection that dropped, I think this is the most popular one. I'm pretty sure there were about four fragrances that dropped out of this collection. I could be wrong though, but this is what the bottle looks like. And I have to say the bottle feels very substantial, very well made, but I don't really like the way it looks. I don't know. Is it just me? Like, I just, I don't like this top. It's magnetic though, so that's nice. It feels very high quality, but I feel like I don't really like the way it looks, but we're not here for that, right? It's not ugly, so, you know, it's just not my fave. So let's see if it smells as good as I hope. Okay, so I'm getting a warm, ambery scent. I definitely feel like I'm picking up Palo Santo at first sniff. So I'm getting that woody smokiness, and that kind of surprises me because Palo Santo in general, I don't think is a note that appeals to a lot of people. So I'm kind of surprised that a lot of people are talking about this because uh, this doesn't smell extremely mass appealing. Yeah, so I'm getting that Palo Santo. I'm getting some amber. It is warm and sweet. Like there is a nice warm, cozy vanilla in this fragrance. It smells really good though. This actually smells really, really good. And I am a little bit shocked because I expected to smell more mainstream. Like I honestly... I don't, I don't want to name the fragrance I thought it was going to smell like, so I'm just going to keep that opinion to myself until maybe later. But this smells a lot more niche smelling than I expected. Yeah, I like this. I'm impressed, okay? I got this for, this is a 100ml bottle. I think I paid around $115 for it, but I think even full price, this is around $150. So I feel like it's very reasonably priced for a fragrance, and it smells interesting. I really like this. Now, I don't know how it's going to wear, but I'm excited to try it. So again, that is Cashmere and Palo Santo by Donna Karen. So that was my huge fragrance haul. And like I said, I have a few more things coming. And there were like two items that I forgot to bring down here, but y'all will see them in another video. <laughs> At least the two items that I kind of forgot. They're more winter scents. Um, so no biggie, but... Anyway, I cannot wait to put all these fragrances away and really start to wear them and get to know them. I think what I'm going to do is I might put them all like in one area. Like I, I bought two more risers because clearly I'm running out of space. So I might put all my new fragrances on those two risers in my closet. And um, that way I can kind of get to know them more since I have so many new fragrances to try out. But anyway, let me know if you tried any of these fragrances that I talked about. If you want to know more about any particular fragrance, again, leave that in the comment section. And I'm sure you'll be hearing about these fragrances in some of my upcoming videos. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I upload every Sunday and Wednesday, so I have a ton of content you can check out. Also, make sure you check out my website. It's www.simplyaisha.com. Get on my email list over there so that we can always stay in touch. If you want to connect more, follow me on Instagram. I'm in my stories almost every day. And I'm also on TikTok periodically. So follow me over there too for very lightweight, fun content. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.